Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss the problem B from code forces round 648 trouble sort. So Ashi says n elements arranged in a line. So in simple terms there are n elements and each element has some sort of value or type attached to it. The type can be of the type 0 or 1. Okay, so now you have to sort those elements. So the first value indicates its value, original value and the second value of that number denotes its type. So you want to saw, like sort these numbers by swapping any, by choosing any two pairs, two numbers and swap them. But for swapping them, they should be of the different type. So you can only swap like a zero type element with a one type element or a one type element with a zero type element, not zero with zero. I hope you understand. So you are given all the list of numbers and their type and you have to somehow swap these numbers to sort them such that you can only do the operations in which you can swap 0 with a type 1 type element and a 1 type element with a 0 type element. So that's the question. So when you draw these questions, I have taken the first example and the last example. If you draw these examples and try to write them down, you can find some patterns and some uh, like some tricks. So the first thing is if they are already sorted if the thing is already sorted Then whatever the pattern can be it is no matter to us. So because it is already sorted We are not caring about the pattern. So yes, we can do this Okay, but it is not if it is not sorted. What will be our strategy be? We will first find out what will be their original place will be So because 10 is the smallest I'm just doing it by looking at this example. We have to bring 10 to the first place. Okay. So what we can do here is actually because this wants to come to this place and the parity of or the type of both of these numbers is different. We can just directly swap them. Okay. So this will become this and this will become this. Okay. Cool. Now, what is the second thing? The second place can be achieved because it is in the second place. It's good. Now, this want to come at this place and because the parity is different, we can directly swap them and it will come to the end and it is good. But if there is an example such that I can tell you one example also. Uh, 70, 48. And then it will be 1, 0, 1. Let's look at this example. Now, because the first place want to be 8. So we want to swap this and this. But this can't be swapped because both of them have the same parity. So now what we can do here is, our main thing can be, if I make somehow this 0, then I can swap this and this. So how can I make this 0? I have to find one other element in the whole array which is 0 such that I can swap this with this element and this element will will become 0 such that if I swap first this two elements because we can do any num any types of swap there is no restriction on swaps so we will first do this swap and then we can easily swap these two elements and bring our element to the uh, like front so it will bring to the front and then it will be 70, it will be a 1, 40 and 0. And now this has to come at this position. So like because the parity is different, we can easily swap them. So what we have seen here is if we want to swap any one, we have to and because if the parity of both the elements are same, then we have to find at least one zero. Because there can be a situation in which we want to swap things and the parity of both of them can be same. And so thus we want to find a 1, 0 anywhere in the array such that we can swap this with this first and then we can swap the whole thing. And same applies for the fun. So the thing is, there are two observations which I have seen. The first observation is if everything is sorted, it's cool. If, if, if they are not sorted, we have to find at least 1, 0 and 1, 1. 
at least one zero in the whole array and at least one one in the whole array because if they are present we can easily swap any of the elements in the array and we can make them sort by doing such operations because if we want to place anything in the first place we can know what is their place we can sort them we, we don't want to print the solution we have to print just yes or no so we will know that if we want to place anything at its original place if the parity of that element and the original element original place element is different we can easily swap if the parity of that element and the other other element is not same we have to find out a element which is like having the parity of different from this element we can first swap both two element and then we will swap these elements so i hope you understand the logic so that's the whole thing we will take the input of n, we will make a vector, we will take the input of the first values and second value, we will make a flag value to check whether this is actually sorted or not. So we will iterate over from 0 to n minus 1, we will check whether the second element is greater than the first element. If it is ok then nothing to do, else we will make our flag equal to 0 and break out of this loop. If this condition is met, it means that this is not sorted. If it is sorted then this flag will turn out to be 1. So if it's 1 we will just print yes and we don't have to go through the whole process. Else we will iterate over the whole this in vector which we have taken input and we will check whether the second value which stores the 0 or 1 type value if what is the count of 0 and 1. We will count the value of 0 and 1. Okay. So if both of them should be greater than or equal to 1 at least both of them should be present if they are not sorted. So, if 1 is there and 0 is there, both are present, we will print yes, I will print no. So, I hope you understand the logic as well as the code. If you still have any doubts, please mention now. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Keep coding. Bye.